who doesn't love animal prints? <laughs> animal prints are always hot, and it's something that you need to have in your art artillery to offer your clients. We're gonna take you through three different styles, leopard, zebra, and tiger, and show you how to get these looks really, really easy, right now on Nail School. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take four mission control colors, white, yellow, orange, and black. And with those four colors, you're going to be able to create three animal print designs. We're gonna start off with leopard, we're gonna do zebra, and then I'm gonna show you how to do tiger. It's really easy and I feel that, again, understanding how to do these prints is going to add value to your services. Okay, so what I've done to make it easy for application is I've taken taser, which is orange, solar, which is yellow, fizz, white, and overdrive, which is black. And I put them on a flat tile, that way I don't have to open up my jars. I could work off my palette and on to the surface of the hard gel or acrylic nail. So what I wanna show you how to do is create, again, the basic background for the leopard, and then I'll show you guys how to layer in the spots so that you have a really, really great design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, Fizz, which is white, and I'm going to apply a nice even coat, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. All I wanna to try to do is just kind of layer down a nice even basically background. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm just going to touch taser, right? I'm just going to touch taser and I'm just going to start brushing this into the surface. And as you can see, it actually turns out to be this really, really pretty pastel orange. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All I wanna to try to do is create a nice background. Remember, the animal print is not perfect. The animal print is basically natural, okay? So as you can see, we've created this really, really nice background. And what we're going to do is we're going to freeze it inside the light for 30 seconds. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use my gel brush and I'm just going to touch taser, right, on basically the tip. I don't really need a lot, okay? And what I wanna do is just kind of, what I wanna be able to do now is just blot dots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just kind of randomly put them through the surface, just like this. Okay. Just like this. Okay. And as soon as I'm done, we're going to freeze this inside the light again for just about 10 seconds. Now what I wanna be able to do is use my micro detailer and overdrive. And what I'm just going to do is just kind of run it in to fill the brush, okay? And what I wanna be able to do now is just paint around the dot. So what I'm going to do is set it down and as you can see, right? Every time I touch into the black, all I'm going to do is just kind of paint around, right? Just like this. And what we're going to do is work around each one of the dots with just a little bit of black. I don't want to connect it. So what I want to be able to do is paint around the edges with little black 
moons. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want to be able to just kind of get around the edges just like this. And they can just be sporadic. You'll notice on some of them, I'll set a dot down. I'll go to the corner again, just with the edge of my brush. And I'll just put three around the edge. I'll continue to work around the whole design until I fill all of the spots. Let's go ahead and get that inside the light. Again, all we want to be able to do is freeze it. So all I need is a minimum of 10 seconds and then I'm going to be able to put the finished shell right over the top. The next design I'm going to do is the zebra print. For the zebra design, I'm going to get a nice coat of fizz. I'm going to start at the cuticle area. And what I like to do is to get it nice and tight, basically I'll get a nice healthy amount and just kind of work it around the cuticle area just like this. And then that way I don't have to worry again about touching the skin. And then what I'll do as soon as I get all the way to the front, I'll start to brush it from the front with a nice even pressure. And then what that will allow me to do is get great coverage, right? Get great coverage from cuticle to free edge. Okay. And then again, if, if you have, remember with white, with white, right? If you have any areas that are basically shadowed, you could always go in with a nice second coat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in and we're going to set that for 30 seconds. How I like to paint my zebra stripes is I think about horizontal or diagonal pitchforks. What I want to do is take my Young Nails striper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it inside my paint. You see I'm spinning it inside my paint to load it up. Once I load it up with enough paint, I'm going to start from one side and with basically heavy to light pressure, I'm just going to just kind of paint across. And then what I can do is in the middle, I can actually see how I'm actually creating this pitchfork across. And then I could run another really thin line through the middle. And then on the opposite side, I can kind of connect it and then same exact thing with a really light to heavy pressure and then heavy and then just light to create basically these really nice pitchforks that come across. And I'm just going to run these stripes in between all the way through the surface of the nail. Heavy to light, again at one point kind of creating this really nice pitchfork. And as you notice, right, I'm just going to try to get it in between just like this. 
and I'm going to continue to work through the nail to fill out the design. Sometimes what I like to do is on the other side, I like to reconnect it and then just take my brush and then try to pull and end up right in the middle. All right, working myself through to create those really, really nice stripes. And you guys notice that the paint is not moving paint is just going to be able to keep its really, really tight lines. And I'll continue to work through all the way down until we get all the way to the bottom. And that's how you're going to create your zebra effect. Again, you only need 10 seconds, and then work yourself through your design, and then when you're complete, you're gonna be ready for finish application. Last but not least is the tiger design, and I've always done this, right? I'm gonna take a combination of all three colors, and I like to work them all in so that you get a really nice background. So what I'm gonna do is take Taser and I'm just going to put a nice coat here and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, All right? I'm not really worried about whether it's perfect. You guys notice I didn't fill the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of solar and then run that right kind of down the middle. And then again, without touching I'm just going to run it through the center, just like this, okay? Just to kind of blend the colors. And then what I like to do is take a little bit of, just touch fizz, and then right through the middle again, I'm just going to run it and create a kind of an ombre, right? So it's a combination between orange, yellow. So it's a combination between orange, yellow, and white to create that effect. So it's a little bit darker on the outside with the orange. And again, if I don't li like the, the, the shadowing, I could always just touch uh, the, the orange, which is taser, and just kind of run that along the edge. I haven't cured anything out, but as you can see, I like to create that type of look. Okay, so that's gonna be my background. So just like the zebra, I want to do the same effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my brush through overdrive, okay? Okay, and what I like to do again, heavy pressure and then really, really light. And then from the other side, heavy pressure and really, really light. And, and honestly, what I like to do with the Tiger is, is just kind of do this and then do one more. It's almost just like kind of straight lines as you can see, but I have them heavy in the center and really thin on the outsides. And then I'm just going to continue to run them Right, diagonally through the nail without touching. And then we're gonna do one in the middle right here. At any point, if you feel like you want to freeze it because you don't want to touch it and mess it up, throw the light over the surface. One, two, three, four, five, and then continue to work. And then that way, like you're not going to spread it. So what I'm gonna to continue to do is do the same exact thing. I'm going to start from this point, a lot of pressure to really, really light. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, a lot of pressure, really, really light. And then one in the middle here. All right. There's always the occasional fork. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. But most of it for me is really across and then one in the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. I got a little bit too much. Sorry. Let me just go ahead and take it off the brush. Start from the edge through here. But you can see how well my background, if the background is perfect, then it's going to allow you to create a really, really sick pattern. But you can see how I go line, line, center, line, line, center, line, line, center, line, line, center, and then just touch these off in the end. And we got a nice tiger pattern right there. Again, you only need 10 seconds, and then when you're complete, you're gonna be ready for finish application. Let's go ahead and put a nice coat of finish. Go ahead and set that for two minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. As you can see, you're going to have three really hot animal prints. All it takes is a basic understanding of technique and you guys are gonna be able to make a lot of money with these designs.